In this morning's Health Watch, a terrifying attack and a new beginning. Seven years ago, Craig Hutto barely survived being mauled by a shark. Since then, he's been helping doctors create the most lifelike artificial limbs in the world. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano has this incredible story. We're just about to walk down into that gully when something bumps me on my left leg. And this bump was kind of like a, just kind of a soft punch. And I kind of just jumped back and, and I screamed, what was that? That was a bull shark. And then right in that instance, something takes me right underwater and I didn't see anything. It dragged 16-year-old Craig Hutto underwater while he was on vacation fishing with his brother in Florida. And just like the movie Jaws, the shark just starts dragging me kind of diagonally outright. Craig's older brother, Brian, acted quickly. Well, this whole time that we're swimming back, the shark is still on my leg. Craig tried to pry the shark off his leg with his hands. By now, the shark had already bit my femoral artery. And so I was, every heartbeat, I was just pumping blood out. And that's basically all I saw the whole time swimming back was blood. It was just red. He had lost more than half of the blood in his body. After a harrowing ordeal, he was rushed to the hospital by helicopter and into surgery. And I tell my mom, I say, Mom, please don't let them take my leg. And right when I said that, Mom, she, she just lost it. Craig's leg had been amputated from the thigh down. I was, honestly, I was devastated just because I had played basketball, baseball, and football since I could walk, basically. At that point, Craig was hoping to even walk again. But within six weeks, he was being fitted for a new prosthetic leg and back at his high school in Tennessee. If you're missing an ankle and a knee, uh, there are significantly more challenges. The doctor Craig was working with recommended him to Dr. Michael Goldfarb at Vanderbilt University. That's pretty good. He was testing a new bionic leg made for active amputees like Craig. This leg, our leg, is explicitly for above-knee uh, amputees. You know, what we're doing is basically making a fully robotic leg. A robotic leg that goes further than regular prosthetics. It can help keep amputees steadier on their feet and helps them climb slopes and stairs. Usually I have to think about every step just because if I don't, that's when I get too relaxed and that's when I'll usually trip and fall. So three times a week, Craig heads to Vanderbilt, tests the leg, and makes recommendations. He's basically been the test pilot, lets us know how it's working, lets us know what's not working, what feels right and what doesn't feel right. Now a junior in college, Craig plans to get a master's in acute nursing. His close call gave him a new outlook. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.